When the Mongols overtook China and established the Yuan Dynasty in the 13th century, most Chinese government officials refused to serve under foreign rule and fled into exile. One of the exceptions was Zhao Mengfu, who created this painting. The brilliant calligrapher and painter chose to continue as a professional painter and serve under the Mongols, calling himself a recluse at court. While outwardly he supported the foreign government, he undoubtedly struggled with his decision. He was criticized by many of his friends, and inwardly he sympathized with those who pursued a life of reclusion. His choice of bamboo, the traditional symbol of strength in the face of adversity, as the subject of this painting is especially meaningful. Zhao Mengfu transformed painting more than any other artist of the Yuan Dynasty. His paintings are revolutionary because he chose not to use the smooth, descriptive brushstrokes favored by court artists. Instead, he developed a theory that calligraphy and painting are the same and painted as a calligrapher, writing with monochrome black ink. Like his handwriting, his paintings are a visual display of his character, depicting his emotions and mindset. In the rock and bamboo hanging scroll painting, simple undulating black lines describe the bamboo leaves. Each brush stroke shows subtle variations in the amount of ink and pressure applied to the brush. The leaves closest to you are rendered in full black ink, dark and strong. Others are pale gray, appearing in the distance. In contrast, notice the strokes known as flying white, used for the rocks in the garden that perfectly describe the rough stone surface. Flying white strokes, derived from calligraphy, are made using a dry brush with excessive pressure and quick movement, resulting in more unpainted paper and less ink. Compare the brush strokes of the leaves and rock to the dainty grasses where Zhao Meng Fu uses the tip of the brush for each delicate blade. This painting is clearly a personal expression of the artist, rather than a colorful rendering of bamboo for the court. Do you notice the writing on the painting? The calligraphy on the right edge of the painting is Zhao Meng Fu's signature. You can also find Zhao Mengfu's large calligraphy as the title of the painting by Huang Gongwang nearby. However, at the top of the painting are five single poems about bamboo by different poets, added many years later. If you had the honor of writing on this painting, what would you write? <laughs>